Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is an introduction to our workshop. In today's workshop, we're going to be utilizing the step function in R and we'll be talking about step forward, step backwards, and stepwise uh, functions so you can figure out which explanatory variables you should be including in your model. Okay, so let's get started. Start from the top. And this is actually pretty logical. So here I'm just going to import the basketball that's using data. Okay, so let's go step, and then here I'm gonna we'll start. We'll start with pretty simple. So we're gonna go first determine what model we want to look at. So in this case, I want to determine uh, what's did someone play in the All Star game. So let's go games played, and then in the step forward one, which I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna just make it the intercept, which is gonna be one, and then here. I'm going to go family equals binomial and then I'm going to list out the data which is basketball.season pretty straightforward and then here I'm going to include the scope tilde which is going to be points plus rebounds plus assists plus blocks plus steals plus minutes uh, plus uh, personal fouls okay and then I'm gonna go direction equals both uh, not both uh, forward pretty straightforward so essentially the way the forward one works is you start with nothing or you start with whatever your model you had before and then you start adding in additional ones so you think about okay I'm gonna start with the, just the intercept and then I'm gonna pick the best variable that's gonna increase the quality of my model I'm going to pick that variable, go to the second one. Now I have the intercept plus that one explanatory variable. And I'm going to pick the second, the variable that's going to be added to the second variable that's going to be added to my model that will increase the quality by the most. Let's run it. So you'll see here, it starts with the intercept. And then it picks up points because that's the best quality one. Picks up rebounds, picks up assists, et cetera, et cetera. So if we go up here, let's start from the top. So this is all measured by the quality of the model is measured by AIC. And I'll include a link to the description below on how AIC is calculated, but just know that that measures the quality of your model. So you see up here, the we want lower AIC. So you'll see the AIC is 11,000. You'll see that points, it's always gonna be sorted by the best explanatory variable. So it's points up here. And then you'll see here, I have a new model, which is games played, regressed on, on points. And then you'll see here if I add rebounds, it's going to be the second best. And you'll see interesting here that steals was the second best one uh, when I added in uh, when I just had points. But you'll see here assists had now moved up. So it's always, and this is probably because there's some interaction between between the the variables. It might be the case that people that are more inclined to uh, rebound also have a higher inclination to steal or between assist and steal. So there's definitely some interaction there that's causing it to move around. So you keep going down and then you eventually get to the final model, which uh, surprisingly includes everything. Okay, so it includes everything. So you'll see here, this is the baseline of the model. And if there were any below it, then uh, it would uh, actually increase it. So. That's interesting. Maybe there's another one we can include here. So I'm just going to include games played just because I do want to show what it looks like if it if we weren't if we were not to include a model, and just because uh, the because this is purely based off of AIC. Even if the AIC was 0.1 better, lower than uh, including the explanatory variable than not including it. Uh, then it would still pick it, so it's not necessarily the case that you would include it. So you'll see here, once I included games played, personal fouls actually started coming out. And this may be an indication that there's definitely some interaction between personal fouls and games played, and, and this is obviously not per game, so it might have changed if I change it to per game. Uh, it may be the case that personal fouls was a proxy of number of games played. But anyways, let's, um, let's proceed forward. So that's one. 
it's one model so we go down here let's do the same thing except for what I'm going to do here is I'm going to instead of including the scope all the variables here in scope I'm going to include it in the backwards model so I'm going to go up here instead of regressing on the intercept I'm going to include all these different variables and get rid of the scope and the direction that we're going to take is backwards and you'll see it's it's going to be fairly similar it's going to obviously going to be a lot quicker because there was uh, just some variables that we need to exclude so you'll see up here the original model included everything this is the AIC and you'll see that this AIC is going to be exactly the same as this one uh, my, my surrounding uh, because that includes everything right and then you'll see here this one it says minus which means like which one do you take out uh, and you'll see here this is the baseline so anything above the baseline we should be taking out like one variable at a time and you'll see that here perfect so that's that's backwards and the last one is both so essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to go scope is equal to tilde and I'm going to include all these variables because uh, you think R would know to when you're doing both that it should include everything but it doesn't so let's include some other variables like three throw um, made and this is going to go in both directions so it's going to add and subtract and hopefully I can convey this um, okay let's add in yeah that's that's pretty much it Okay, and then we're going to change this to both. And let's run it. Okay, so, oh, oh, attempted. Sorry. R is very finicky. Slash, I make mistakes. So now it's, now it's going to run through it. You'll see here the plus and minuses. Perfect. So let's start from the top. It's very similar. So here's the AIC of the entire model, which is similar to of, uh, of the original model. All right. And you'll see here, if we add in three throw attempts, uh, three throws made, it increased the quality of the model. If we add in attempts, it actually increased the quality of the model. And if we take away personal fouls, it increased the quality of the model. So this is super helpful super useful so hopefully you learned something regarding model selection it doesn't work with just glm in theory it'll work with any of your models so i highly recommend that you learn and master the step function in r because it's going to really help you with your model selection so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i look forward to speaking to you next time thank you